Hello everyone, welcome to Avipedia. My name is Abhishek Sharma and I am bringing you a new series, Abhishek's Take for UPSC Civil Services Preparation. The aim of this series is to help you with the 360 degree preparation of your UPSC prelims and mains examinations. What I intend to do through this series is help you upgrade your study material, stay ahead of the learning curve and be able to integrate your learning with your class notes, with your current affairs so that whatever you study you have the complete analysis in your hand whatever you study you are able to understand it thoroughly so that is our aim in this series now the presentation that i am using in this series and the next lectures that will follow all the presentations will be available in the link within the description so you can take it up from there Today's particular topic that we are taking up is RBI's COVID-19 response in terms of monetary policy and further issues also will be taken up in this manner. So yesterday, 17th of April, RBI announced a second tranche of measures to deal with COVID-19 situation and how the financial system can be helped in staying afloat, how the firms, businesses that are in uh, great need of cash flow can get that cash flow. So RBI is doing its endeavors as a central bank to deal with this series. Now let's look into what all RBI did and what is the important terminology and highlights therein. Okay, now moving into the RBI's endeavor. The RBI on March 27 introduced targeted long-term repo operations as a tool to enhance liquidity in the system particularly the corporate bond market in the wake of COVID-19 crisis. Now, what is this LTRO, TLTRO and what's all this that is going on? Now, you already know there is a quantitative uh, monetary policy tools are there with respect to repo and reverse repo. Now, the repo basically is the rate at which RBI provides short-term lending to the banking system and reverse repo is the rate at which the banks can pack part their extra funds with the RBI. Now both this repo and reverse repo operations are short term in nature. Now a new tool that is being used by RBI is long term repo operations. This basic tool was brought into practice by the European Central Bank in 2008 while it was going through a sovereign debt crisis. Now in this long term repo operation the basic concern is that the banks will be able to withdraw money from the RBI for a period of one to three years so they can spread out essentially and what is the targeted part or TLTROS that the money that they withdraw the funds that they get in this mechanism they have to utilize these funds in a targeted segment of the economy so this is the core concern here TLTRO now how is this different from the prevailing facilities of RBI so LAF and MSF as we know are both short term and within that the repo rate and reverse repo rate operate here in the TLTRO there will be a long term perspective so more than one year perspective can be taken into account moving ahead how does it help banks and why is it important for the economy so LTRO basically provides cheaper capital to the banks from the RBI so that down the line the banks will be able to lend this cheaper capital to the businesses that are in bitter need of this particular money. Now for this particular purpose the government securities as collateral will also be provided in the similar nature as you already know in the repo they are providing the treasury bills which are extending from 91 day treasury bill to 364 day treasury bill. Here in LTRO they will be providing government securities ranging from one year to three year. Rest of the mechanism pretty much stays the same. So moving on what is the COVID-19 perspective in this? Now, you know, in the COVID-19 uh, situation, the whole system of Indian economy is in a state of comatose. Everything is stuck where it is. So the businesses need to stay afloat in the situation. They need to be paying salaries to their employees. They need to be uh, creating some of the essential services that are needed to be created. And they have to be handling a lot of different approaches in terms of uh, less contact deliveries logistics major operations are kind of uh, stuck right now so in this COVID-19 situation uh, what happened is essentially a large amount of sell-off or you can say a bearish stance kind of formed in the capital market and the money market and the 
currency market so to deal with this bearish stand uh, the whole, whole lot of liquidity which was taken out of the market the rbi has started a uh, fresh liquidity injection into the market through the banking system so this is the core concern here and for that rbi has pledged around 1 lakh crore rupees in the first tranche and in the second tranche which was announced on 17th april another 50000 crore have been pledged through tltro 2.0 in the first tranche the focus was on basically the corporate bond market the commercial paper and the debentures in the second tranche that is tltro 2.0 the focus has now been shifted to nbfcs and microfinance institutions essentially in india the banks they cater more to the large firms to the enterprises while the nbfcs and microfinance institutions they provide money to the small entrepreneurs to small businesses to self employed so they can remain afloat so essentially this is where the rbi is looking at right now now what about the transmission you know always with respect to monetary policy one concern that remains in india is the transmission of monetary policy whatever benefit rbi is providing to the banks the banks most of the time fail to provide this benefit down the line to the borrowers and the banks always try to uh, remain a bit risk averse but this is a deep risk aversion that is being shown by indian banking system right now so rbi is right now following a two pronged strategy uh, to help you know uh, avoid such kind of a deep risk aversion by the indian banking system globally all these banks have this problem they want their money to be parked in some safe space and right now when the whole economy is unsafe central bank by itself remains the safest position where the banks can put their money so this is where the situation has been there and rbi is now doing this in a two pronged strategy what rbi is uh, intending to do essentially is that it is reducing the reverse repo rate down to the 3.75% while repo rate is kept up so that the in between uh, gap which is there that basically means that banks will now have to pay money to park their funds in the central bank so they will be uh, earning money only if they move their funds out of the banking system into the market and help the small businesses get on their feet okay now essentially if you go into the uh, us uh, federal market and how the uh, american banking system responded to this now the us federal reserve has taken to buying corporate bonds directly rather than through banks what that basically means is whatever a corporate issue uh, whatever corporate bond gets issued the central bank directly buys it and the money is provided directly to that corporate entity now they will be then able to use the money but rbi has not gone that far and it is using its policy of nudge for the banking system and two basic things it has done to facilitate this so it has reduce the reverse repo rate as of 17th april 2020 to 3.75% and second step it has given rupees 50000 crore uh, to refinance three institutions that is sidbi nabard and national housing bank that reach the small scale firms rural sector housing firms nbfcs and mfis so this two prompt strategy has been used along with that the borrowing has been kept that is repo rate has been kept at 4.4% so that there is a kind of a disincentive for the banks to park their money with the central bank itself now moving on to the conclusion now we have seen things from the pre perspective you need to know the tltro you need to know the ltro what is the difference between tltro laf msf and so on and so forth now we come to the conclusion part of this particular abhishek stick now with transmission or the liquidity given the central bank are not going down the line which is an issue with the central bank and as well as the banking system of india maybe this is the good time for the government and the rbi to rethink its banking architecture can it really continue in the way that it has been continuing till now the development of a robust corporate bond market will be real helpful in averting such kind of crisis in future and so will be setting up of an early alarm system as mentioned in the frdi bill right now the covid-19 situation is an opportunity to smash through the existing incumbents and equations 
to rebuild banking and lending infrastructure in India. Both finance ministry and the RBI should use this crisis to bring deep changes in the way Indian banking has worked in India or actually not worked. Now, this is it from me, Abhishek Sharma. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Help them and this will be uh, essentially a service to all that uh, students, all my friends that are preparing for UPSC. Now, if you want any of your issues that you think are to be discussed through this Abhishek Stake web series, now you can email me at abhishek at avmanu.com. If you have specific doubts with respect to any of the videos, I'll be very happy to help you. Okay. You can follow me at my Telegram channel. You can search that Telegram channel through IES underscore PCS underscore HCS. Stay home, stay safe, keep preparing for your UPSC examination. All the best. Capture your dreams. This is me, Abhishek Sharma, signing off.